hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for clicking on the video again today to hear what the lord would have us know my name is sharon thank you for coming again today and um excuse any sound if you hear any sound it's raining and it's night time here so um let's get into today's word please uh today the lord is saying to somebody do not mind when they misunderstand you do not uh, mind when people seem to have an opinion of who you should be or what you should be uh, simply because you are you are on the path that God told you the journey that God set for you is your journey is your story is your is your path to that destination that he has prepared for you the Lord is saying to you people will say what they will say People will misunderstand you. People will misjudge you. People will call you names. People, 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 yes. Um, the ones that are necessary, you can pick one or two advice along the way. But trust me, if it doesn't align with what God says you should do, discard. And um, this word came to me from um, the book of 1 Samuel 1, 14. Eli met Hannah. We all know Hannah, the mother of Samuel. Eventually, at the time she was barren, he met Hannah praying. Um, but to him, he misunderstood her for being drunk and told her to put away <laughs> drunkenness, you know, that she should get off that, that, that um, drunkenness at the time. But Hannah said she wasn't drunk, that she was just pouring her heart out to God. Yes, to this one person whose word this is, there is a season of your life where everything doesn't make sense to you and to the people around you. Yes, it's even worse off to you because you, you just feel like you are you are lazy, you are useless to the society, you are not you are not in any way relevant. Nobody recognizes you, nobody even remembers you. Yes, that season I've been there. I'm, I'm talking from experience as much as from the word of God. That season where people misunderstand you this word is for you today the Lord says do not mind what they say don't take it to heart always come back to him for strengthening for comfort to keep going they didn't know or they don't know that you are on his will you are on the path to his destination for your life so they will interpret it the way humans will naturally they will interpret it in the way they best understand so the lord is saying to you don't get depressed don't go, don't go sad don't feel bad when people you know ascribe what you are not to you because of the situation you are in that is just their human perspective as long as you know you are with him on this journey receive grace today to walk with him regardless of what people are saying receive grace now to be patient enough to carry your someone yes hannah was misunderstood she still got her somewhere she was misjudged she got her somewhere she was mocked by her uh, her mates her fellow wife <laughs> but she still got her somewhere she still got her somewhere have you been any of these or more you will get your somewhere you will carry your somewhere you will carry your somewhere it doesn't look like it now yes you will carry your somewhere it doesn't look like what you thought it would be you will carry your somewhere this person whose word this is tonight hear it hear it for emphasis you will carry your summer you will carry a tangible proof that god is good in your life you will carry a tangible proof and the people who misunderstood you will join you to sing praises to your god this word is coming to you be encouraged to drop that garment of depression the lord is on your side what you're going through now this word might not be for everybody but this one who this word resonates with what you're going through now you will come out strong you will come out better you will carry your summer 
Yes, you will carry your summer. God is not a man that he should lie. If he said it, I always emphasize this word, if he said it. Because it is his word that you are standing on. Not on shaky ground, not on uncertainties. When you are standing on the word he gives, he gave you, be rest assured that you will carry your summer. Don't run off being idle, run off being lazy, run off doing other stuff and expecting to carry your Isaac. No. If it is his word to you, if it is if it is God you are connected to, if it is God that you trust, you will carry your Isaac. This word is to that one person. Men has said a lot of things, and more we still say yes, or no more we say. <laughs> But may the Lord give you grace to look beyond what they say and hold on to the promise that the Father gave you. And look forward to the Samuel you are about to carry. The Bible tells us that Jesus despised the shame. He despised the shame. He carried his cross and he despised the shame. It's not, it's not easy with anybody. He, he, it's not easy at any point, you know, to feel like, uh, no, the words don't get to you. Of course, it gets to anybody. But receive grace to overlook it and look ahead to that promise the Lord has given you. Because in no time, sooner than you think, and now is that time that the Lord will favor Zion. The Bible says the set time to favor Zion has come. Now is that set time that the Lord will favor you with your Samuel. Of course, also he will favor you with your Isaac, your laughter. That thing you have long waited for, that thing you have been mocked for, that thing you have been, you have been misunderstood for, the Lord is about to put it in your hands. He will give you your Samuel, he will give you your Isaac. God bless you, my friends. This is all I have for you from the Lord today. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.